Well, hey guys. Long time no see. Um, I'm going to call this, I think, um, tool cutter grinder. 14 maybe. We're running out of things to take off the machine. And it's, uh, it's, it's, we're verging on the, uh, starting to put things back together again. So, I'm going to run you through the machine in the other room, kind of give you an idea where we stand right now, and then uh, we'll look at some, um, some new purchases uh, for the machine, and start thinking about, hold on, come here Buzz, come in here. Apparently, apparently Buzz, the dog, got out while I was fixing the fuse in my car. I had the gate down. The wife would have been freaking out. Let's say hi to Buzz. And, uh, yeah, he'll take off out that door, man, and he is just full steam ahead. And he wants to, uh, run. Okay. So here's the K.O. Lee tool cutter grinder. We still have one more accessory to hang here. It's a little, um, it's a little tool hanger. Goes up against there. You hang your spanner wrench. And so. You know, they say you you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. And one thing I think is awful neat about this uh, is you can take the electrical panel off completely. It hangs on those four tabs. And, uh, of course, the bottom ones are slat, slitted, so you just position it. Very easy to just position it over those offsets and uh, hang it there and then um, do the top ones. Uh, allows great access to that bull gear underneath for greasing. I got the plugs. D uh, took the latex paint off of those, just going to leave those black. Those are to run pipes through for lifting. Uh, of course, the oiler goes here. I've uh, contacted Bajor, and I am going to buy all new nozzles, let's call them. I forget what they call them. And there's an oiling point, and here's a lubrication oiling point. Uh, and here's the saddle. It has a oiling point here. Not so much over here. You gotta spin this pipe around and there's a round hole in the bottom of that. Still waiting on this bearing. Maybe they call that a pin bearing, I think, or... I got the, uh... We got the original one cleaned up really well, but as I spin it, I'm still, I'm still getting dirty grease, dirty oil rather. Not terribly, I mean, I think it's, actually, it looks pretty damn good, but for what it costs, we're going to put a brand new one on. Okay, we got new bearings here. There's a, uh, that's the way those came, there's new old stock, old, yeah, new old stock, yeah, I got plenty of those. Found a source for Woodruff keys, 
that rural king so Lowe's didn't have it I guess I didn't check anywhere besides Lowe's but anyway rural king definitely had what I need 11 three th three three thirteenths by a quarter I think actually I have it yeah, well it doesn't really matter by a half um, went to hydraulics shop today now I got new o-rings now this inside o-ring the one that was in there was pretty much impotent you know, it isn't doing anything and uh, when I first took it off I thought well this is a mistake someone just shoved that in there uh, but both sides are like that now he's explaining to me that these are not to keep oil from leaking around that shaft so this may be to keep dirt out what's keeping the oil out is this sealed bearing so one end of the side of the bearing is open that's the inside pointing to the center of the of the spindle and then of course the other side is sealed so oil does not go through so, having a hard time finding replacements for these so anyway I got new o-rings he suggested and thought that the thing to do here is to man is that that dirty in there well I guess I cleaned one I didn't clean this one uh, what he suggested was uh, it's a square string of felt and put that square felt in there and that felt will keep any debris from from uh, migrating inside the spindle so here's a new bearing here and that is for the uh, live center I have that installed I have the live center in the um, in the freezer right now this will pop right out these aren't These aren't terribly, none of the bearings are, are terribly tight fit. So, um, now it is a good fit, a good snug fit on the, uh, on the dead center, which becomes a live center with this bearing. So that's new, that's new, the pin bearing will be new. Now I, uh, as it stands right now, I've lost a few things. And number one is the uh, strap clamps or pipe clamps. It looks something like this. Um, I have no idea. I think I might have put them on top of my car and then drove away. But this one here works fine for the top. And the, the, the bottom one has to go over eight inches. So I got a, uh, a zip tie that, uh, that'll do about, that's good to about 11 inches, I think. So I'll use that zip tie and, uh, and clip off the tail. And if they were building that machine today, you know, they might use a zip tie. And I also got a package today from Amazon. And it is whey oil. It 
So we've got a gallon of that. Got a new pair of shorts for like thirteen dollars. Yeah, thirteen dollars. Went and bought a bunch of hardware at the Lowe's Home Improvement Store, and then when I got to work that night, I realized this is what I needed. Three of these, ten thirty second for the door, and two of these for the. Um, the manifold for the oiler. So uh, I already had that at work, stainless steel. Went ahead and picked up a couple uh, set screws. Okay, that's about it. I think the next thing we do is we'll be rolling this machine in this direction, getting it located underneath the chain fall hooking up the saddle and bringing it down. Now I am going to uh, fill all these cavities with oil before I start, before I lay the saddle down. And that ought to go a long way to uh, getting things lubricated right from the start. Don't have to wait for that. It might take a quite a long time for that um, bijou, bijou oiler to uh, fill those cavities. And I also grabbed uh, a couple of nuts, jam nuts. So there's a threaded rod going down underneath here on this. And there's really no way to tighten it up. that there it is right here and so I'll put two nuts on there okay one little update here I got all these little Teflon or plastic thingamajigs they're all okay this might not be the best surface to use here but I have my Morris taper number five um, I guess it's a dead center at this point I have my my new bearing and uh, the bearing is you know is ambient temperature this is obviously frosting up it's been in the freezer i guess i should put a little oil inside here and uh, let's see what i have to drive this on with it looks like the uh the coupler for the my two shafts on the machine will will be a be a good driver. so good okay let's try the old bearing we don't want to install it 
Okay. Let me find a... Uh... Okay, that's uh That is on there. So that's going to go That's going to go in here. Oops. This really shouldn't need any persuading it should just slip right on There it is. Boy, that's a world of difference compared to what it was. All right. Like I said, it's time to start putting things back together. So. Find a uh, piece of uh, towel and dry this thing off. Now, um, one question that occurs to me is uh, I'm betting that whey oil is not what I want to use. For this spindle, this bath for the bearings. Um, the uh, make a little room here. So this shaft is going to go through this housing. There's going to be uh, maybe an inch of oil in there so that as this thing is uh, rotating, it is picking up oil constantly. Now, I'm thinking um, whey oil probably isn't the right oil for that. 
I'm almost thinking a conventional, more of a conventional 30 weight oil would be appropriate, but I will wait. I will wait for for your input and advice. And I guess I could actually do a little research on my own and see what kind of oil would be appropriate for for bearings. Okay, when this temperature normalizes, I'm going to go ahead. Man, I would love to replace these bearings. I'm going to try a little harder to find these bearings because I don't think they're sealed as well as they, uh, as they once were. It's a VS549. VS549. And it is a B A D B A R D E N Barden. B A R D E N is the brand. It is a V S five four nine. And um, I come up blank on that. Uh, BearingLocator.com, something like that, and they just no results. So if I hold, I I am going to hold off putting this back together till I uh, make every effort to replace those two bearings because um, that's the spindle, you know. Okay, guys. Once again, we are working on Universal Tool and Cutter Grinder by K.O. Lee. And I am looking for accessories. And boy, the people who own this shit and sell it on eBay, they must think this stuff is made out of platinum because they have ridiculous prices on stuff. All right, and none of them have what I want anyway. So, okay, we'll see if this makes the cut or not.